Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, there's something I have to put from my file in the sitting room. Your what? I left my file in the sitting room. Oh, your file? Yeah. This gate. You don't know, see anybody, sir. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that there's nobody that ran off this gate? Not at all, sir. It's only the electrician that came to this place. Come and do your job. Madam brought to this place. Sir. No, no. You see, honey, my sight cannot be deceiving me. I said I saw someone run through the sitting room. Down the staircase and I had the door, he slammed the door and ran off. Yes, I'm I'm sure it must be the electrician because I called one to come and fix it. I perceived this uh, wire that was burning. So I called the electrician to come and fix it. Probably he's the one. I told him to go once he's done. I didn't even know he was still around. Patrick, I'm not talking about any electrician that must have left. I'm talking I mean just now. Nobody ran off this gate now. That product. Yes. I'm dressed with a mini budget to go out. Oh, yes. <laughs> did you forget that? I told you I'd be attending a business seminar in Abjad School. Did you? I did. I mentioned it to you like two times last week. I mean, how come I didn't remember? But, but I mentioned it to you like three times last week. Then your husband is coming back and you're stepping out for a business trip in America. How does that sound? You know you will forget. Are you coming back today? I won't be able to come back today. No, it's already late. By the time I'll get to Abuja, I may not be getting an evening flight to come back today. Wow. No, like, are you for real? I'm not even concerned about the fact that you're stepping out. Are you telling me you're not coming back to the house today? I mean, it be like this now. Before you know it, I'm back. It's a business seminar.
good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I have a reservation. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah. You know, remember that sweet boy I told you I was chatting online? Yes. Yeah. And the you know, I told you that we'll be having an appointment. Okay. Okay, now. I got to the hotel. You know? I was so eager to see him. I took off everything. I was just there waiting. And you know who walked in? Who? My husband. <gasps> Jesus, my husband is the one I've been chatting with all this while. God, <gasps> so I'm so devastated right now. I don't even know what. To do. I don't know where to start. I'm like, oh, everything, everything came flashing on my face. Like all the chats, the new pictures. Oh, I was sending all to my husband. Oh my Ouch. God, Steve, you are finished. How could you? I told you, I warned you not to do this. Eh? I don't know what you're looking for. When your husband is got everything that you're looking for out there. Oh, I it's just the devil's walk. You know, the worst thing is that since I got to the house, he's not even saying anything. At least let him shout. Let him hit. Let him just do something. He's not doing anything. He's just there looking at me. What am I supposed to do? Please help me out. What am I supposed to do? Just calm down. We'll figure a way out, okay? Oh, God. I, my head is blank now. I, I don't get to... myself into this mess. So what do I do? Please calm what down do now. Do calm down. Okay, don't worry. Let's just just calm down so that we can think. We can figure a way out. Okay. 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 Do you go back there? I mean, I can't even face him. I can't face him right now. Like take a deep breath. Take okay. a deep breath. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just calm down so that we can oh. think. Okay, just relax. Relax. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. God, just relax, okay? Calm down. Let me think of something. I can't think like this. The tension is high. Just relax. I know how to help your marriage. But I warned you and you wouldn't listen. God, babe, calm down now. Oh, God. I'm, 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 I just finished myself. going to work today. 
This is already past 10. Just a day off work, and I get a sack letter. I'm sorry, actually. Very, very sorry. I tried my best, but I called you. You did not pick my call. I called over 21 times. I chatted you, but no response. What do you want me to do? Cynthia, I... how come you couldn't defend me? Richard, I know what I can do. I tried. You are like my brother. We've been in this together. Why would I defend you? If you lose your job, what will I gain? Can you believe I walk inside in this office to talk to you? It said if I out here, what? I'm going to live with you. But what can I do if I lose my job to my dear? I don't have any other. I don't know. Well, I wasn't in the right frame of mind to take calls yesterday. But the thing that I've put in so much effort in this establishment, and all I get is a sack letter for one day absence. For like two months now, you know the new police and management of this organization. They are trying every slight mistake. So how many have they started within two months? You're supposed to know that. What, what, what is that that will take a place of your job? Which I know this now. You're always serious minded. Please, what happened? Can you tell me? I'm your close sister. What happened? Richard. 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 this because of what happened. I'm so sorry. I've been apologizing to you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. You know to air is human. But to forgive is divine. Please. I want us to go back to being a happy family again.
Why what? Why? You've been sacked? Yes. Why? Because I did not go to work yesterday. As a result of what happened. Just because you did not go to work one day, they sacked you. Oh, this is so unfair. Not after all the oh, oh, effort you've put into building this company. Just the way I put in so much effort in a relationship. Please, don't talk like this now. This, this is a different case. Hey, this, is, this is not fair. They shouldn't treat you like this just because of one day, one day. Uh -uh. What they did to me is not fair. How about what you did to me? Did you call it a different case? This is the outcome of your action. I guess you're happy now. Mommy, they sent to my account. And I'm finished. You have emptied my account. Ah. They have emptied my account. Who emptied the account? I don't know. I don't know. I was receiving debit alert. I didn't know where it was coming from. I had to run to the bank only for my accountant to tell me that my account is empty. I mean, between you and I, I, I don't know. Wait, calm down. The, 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 the money left your account. How is that possible? Did you, did you give anybody your token? Well, I did not. Hey! Apart from the fact that I have it and I know you have it, I did not give anybody. I did not. Wait. But you have a secret pin. Did you disclose it to anybody? No, no, I can I can remember. No, I don't. How? How, how can this happen? Ha! Ah, this is not good, though. Hey, how can they? Okay. Did you do any online transaction? Yes, I can remember. I did not. No, think very well. You know you like to buy things online. Did you buy anything online recently? Just think very well. Ah, uh, uh, okay. The last thing I bought for you. I bought it online. Oh, it's a secure site now. It's the same site I've been buying things from over the years. Huh. Oh, God. It must be that on. Hey, they've hacked your account. They've hacked your account. I hope it's not your main account, though. <coughs> it's my main account. Hey! Wait, you mean all the money in that account is gone? <laughs> I'm finished. Ha! And I don't have a job. This the little money you have to manage it before I'm able to get another job is gone. Hey, this is very ugly predicament. You'll be fine, but don't worry. Tomorrow we'll have to go back to the bank. No, there must something there must be something we can do. I said my accountant checked it. They said there's no money there. How hey? What kind of what kind of ugly predicament is this now? Eh? It's, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm I'm sure. God will, God will sort of that. Oh, you get another job, eh? God will do something. It's okay. It's just, just. Honey, I'll be having a job interview tomorrow. And I don't have a means of getting there. I don't know if I can get money from you. Hmm? You can I get money from get me. Get money from you. I don't have any money now. I, I don't have any money to give. Do you mean I should let it go because I don't have means of going? What am I supposed to do? I don't have money. Besides, you've been going for one interview or the other every day, wasting money without any positive results. I can't be wasting money like that now. And what is the chances of getting a job if I don't make attempts? See, there's this business I've been working on for a while now. You know, it's even a good thing that we're here now because this is what I'm going through. Let me see. Hmm? Let me see. Ah, use the proposal. See. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, it's a good idea, but achieving this is huge. Talking about a huge sum of money. I know. I know. But it's something that will fetch us so much money. Honey, what are you saying? Once we're able to pull through, we'll be made for life. Honey, we'll how much do you think we are looking at? Say, nothing less than 20 million. 20 what? 20 million naira. Did you hear yourself? I'm asking for a means of transportation for an interview. And you're here quoting a project of 20 million. Come on. I know 20 million is a lot of money. Okay, I have an idea. Don't feel too bad about it. Hmm? This is, I just have to come up with these things as a good wife. So that you have solid means of income. You don't have to work for anybody. You'll be your own boss. Okay, okay. Let's assume we want to go into this. Mm. How on earth are we going to be able to raise this amount? Why don't we just put up this house for sale so we can raise the money? What did you say? Sell the house. Come on. Like, did you hear yourself? No, honey, did you just hear what you said? We should put up the house for sale like that. It's like you don't know the stress and effort I put in towards acquiring this place. And you just said it's so careless, like, see, it's an easy thing for me to do. What do you mean by strength and effort you put in making this place? Of what use is staying in a big house like this where you can barely feed? You don't have money. You don't have a job. And you're talking about effort you put in building this place. Okay. So when you're hungry, you go to the wall of your property. You start looking at it. Or when you go to the interviews, you go and scrape part of the wall to pay for transportation. I'm telling you something that will benefit us and you're talking about what the effort you put in buying this place. Easier said than done. It's just for us to manage for a while. Um, it is easier said than done. Do you think it's a good idea for us to put up this property for sale? Then stand the risk of starting up a new form of business. If this thing is, it's, it's, I know it's a big deal, though. At the same time, it's not a big deal. We sell this place, get a smaller apartment, invest in this business. Once we hit it big, we're looking at less than one year. We'll just go and buy a bigger apartment, and we'll be good. And you think this risk is a viable risk? <laughs> there is no big business that does not require taking risk. You know you're my wife. Yeah. And I know you mean well for us. Yeah, exactly. Well, let me count on your judgment. Maybe I should contact property agent and see how we can go about it. Because they really mean well for us. It's a good wife. I do like it when my husband is good. So that's why I came up with this. So at least we'll have something. As he's struggling, honestly, I wish he can actually get a job. I honestly wish he doesn't get a job. Yes. Why? I don't want him to get a job. Why? Because I want to keep being in control. I want to be in charge. I want to control him. If he gets a job now, I'll lose a grip of him. Hmm. It is wrong to wish your husband something like that. I mean, we are two different people. On the contrary, I would want my husband to get a job and take care of the family while I do my part as a wife. Mm. Yes. See, you want your husband to work and take care of while you do the little things you do in the house. Then he can control you anyhow he wants. Treat you like a puppet, treat you like a nobody. No, I don't want that. Ah, babe. I have tested this power and I can't let it go. I'm really happy that he lost his job. Yes, so I can control him, mold him, shape him into what I want. I love power. It intoxicates me. I can't let go. No, this man should not get a job. If he gets a job, I'll lose him. Now, 
No, I like what is happening. <laughs> not all men are like that. Truly, not all men. Okay, come to think of it. When your husband had it all, he didn't treat you bad. I mean, he was so sweet. I don't care. He was so nice. Like, how is that supposed to be my business? What is important right now is that I have him where I want him. Hmm. I can make him do whatever for me because he's at my mercy right now. He's at my beck and call. Ah. I have just one wish. I wish I can just buy this house and own everything in this house. Really? Just said the dreamer. Hey, hey, calm down. I gotta bring it down. Wait, see. Hey. <laughs> buy what? I know you, know, you can't afford it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So that's how much you know me. Yes, I trust you. Cheers, ma'am. Yeah. Honey, the new buyer has made the payment. Really? Yeah. Oh, this is no, but I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can we be transacting such a business without knowing who is buying? That is not a problem, no. At least his wife is here to represent him. Hmm? It's not a problem. The most important thing is that if you say to me, we have to move. If you don't want to shoot, it's very serious. The guy has signed everything, so we're good. I really consider it strange. <laughs> strange? Sure. It's not strange. These things happen. As long as we'll be at work, we'll buy property. And that is why it. I consider it strange. How? I learned the buyer is just within. He's not abroad. He's resident here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Even here in Lagos State. Maybe he's busy. Wow. Oh. Okay. The most important thing is that we've gotten the money. We've gotten the money. It's time to do our business. Oh. Thank you. I just hope this business pull through. Don't worry, everything will be fine. I These guys are scum as their phone stands. There is no business. There is no business. I want to die. I want You mean the business idea you brought? It's gone. God. It's gone. I even went to the office. There is nobody there. They closed the office. All the emails, all the messages, all the business, everything is all fake. Do you remember I told you I want to get involved in this business? You said you want to take me by surprise. Yes. Because I want to be a good wife now. I want to be a good wife. Eh? At least let me do something good for my husband. I did not know they are first time. Hey, God! Hey. I told you. I, I told you. I, I told you the, the, the risk of starting up a new business. But you said no, you should just go ahead with it. This is where it has landed us. Right. Mm -hmm. What do you think that you want me to do now? Now we don't have a house again. There's no house. There's no money. You don't even have a job. Ah, hey, God, I beg God. No, no, no. Oh this, this is, is this is too much a risk you took. <laughs> Honey, I even suggested we get a place of our own. You said no, let's just I, I told you not do me too. I, I suggested we set up with twenty million, you said no. You, you made me put in all the money we, we sold from the house. <laughs> we don't even have a place of our own. Well, 
I thought you at least since the, the new owner has allowed us to stay for a while, probably we just need some money and buy a bigger house. I'm sorry. Ah, no, no. <laughs> hey, I want to die. I want to die. <laughs> okay. Did I not tell you about the risk of starting up a new business? It is. And you need to look at the one straight now that is just <laughs> <I'm> finished. <sighs> Honey, I'm off. Off to where? Don't act as if you don't know your friend. Sandra sent a link for me to attend an interview. Didn't we talk about it last night? So? Okay. Did you make my breakfast? Are you expecting me to go make your breakfast before going for an interview? Did you do the dishes? No. Did you do laundry? No. So where do you think you're going to? And I don't understand. I mean, look, I've been in this house for how long without a job? That's how, if I hear Sandra sent you a link, I will jump up and start crazy. Oh God, please, before I finish doing this, you let my breakfast be on that table. Do the dishes, do the laundry before you go to anywhere. And do you like the way I look? I, I don't like the, the legs of my shoe is ruined. I can't even afford to replace. How is that supposed to be my business? Like, am I supposed to buy you a list? Am I supposed to fix your shoes? Listen, it's so simple. You wake up in the morning, you make me breakfast. You know those of us that have job, I have a job. I live here every day to work so hard so I can put food on your table, feed you, clothe you, make you look like a man. The least I expect from you is to do the job. Am I supposed to spell it out? Make me breakfast. Honey. So that I will eat and have strength to go to work. You don't have a job. You are jobless. You are jobless. You don't have a job. The only job you have is to take care of this house. Honey. Am I asking for too much? Honey. Honey, do you think you are applying human face? Asking me to go do the toilet before going for the Excuse the hell out of me. Or let me do my food there, let me eat and go to work. People that have offices are talking, and this one that you don't, you don't even, you're not even sure where you're going to. So you're going to be one to be interviewed. Sandra sent you. If I hear Sandra, Honey, let me jump. Do, do you realize you're talking to the man you once professed love to? Like man. the husband of your youth. <laughs> wait, wait. Like if they say men should line up, you like this, you will join you. <laughs> ah, voila. I know the only thing that makes me mad. Oh, God, go and make my breakfast. Let me eat before going to work. So, if I hear Sandra sends you a link to an interview, hey, I'll jump up and start the house. How many interviews have you attended in one month? I don't want to go. You've been off work for eight months. Eight whole months. I have been feeding you with my hard earned money. Okay. I will just go in there mm. and do the laundry. Exactly. I'll wash the dishes. Exactly. I'll iron your clothes. Exactly. I'll make your breakfast. Now you're talking. You got it. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Why is your face like this? I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you believe I missed the interview? I mean, the very interview you sent a link for me to attend. No. Why no? And how could you? 
I got the only to see people walking out. They were already in What happened now? You know, you've never known me to be serious. I woke up in the morning planning to attend the interview. That was when my wife asked me to do calls for her. I had to do the laundry. I did the dishes. You know, I had to cook for her. Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. I just don't know. You see, I was happy when you sent that link to me. I was like, the days of hunting for job is over. Only for me to end up missing out. No oh, worries, I'll talk to one or two of my friends and ask them for if there's space in their office. Before you plan on getting another job for me, can you do me a favor? Do talk to your friend. Please ask your friend to be nice to me. I'm human for crying out loud and I deserve to be treated as one. Ask her to treat me nice. Have a nice day. Yeah. Yeah. Babe, I really do not like what you're doing. What you're doing is absolutely wrong. It is unacceptable. Yes, I am your friend and I have to tell you this. My problem is that you were trying to take the position of a wife. Huh? You were trying to take the position of a husband. You were the one for going up long. You are the next and we need to in the position of the next. No, I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is that you don't know when to draw the line. You don't know when to stop. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to assume the position of a man. In this house now, I am a man. I am not only the head, I am everything. When a man fails in his responsibilities as a man, he does not only become the neck, he becomes the chest, the waist, the, the, the legs, everything. I will trample him by my goodness. Anything. Yeah. What is it? You were wrong. Let's see. What you are doing is wrong. But I am so sure you are going to regret it. Huh? Do you know what it took me to help me get that job opportunity? Do you know? And you just allowed me to lose it like that. I am so sure what it is. He's angry. He's not happy about it. There's a woman mad. He's not happy about it. Do you know what? What is happening to you? What is wrong with you is just desperation. You are desperate. You want to become a wife. You want to get married. That is why you're trying to paint yourself as a very good person. You don't know anything. You have never been married. You don't know what it means to be a wife. And not only a wife. To provide for the family. By the time you get married and you take up the responsibility and take me over, then you know what it means. So you want him to hear you speak as the good person. That make me look like the bad person. Abi, it's not your fault. It's because people out there see us and they know you're my friend. Huh? They know you're my friend. And they just say that showing you a thing and I'll tell you him. I don't want to be seen as that. I don't want to be a thing to someone who is treating her husband badly. Because I am single! And it is wrong. See? Stop. If this is how you want to continue running your home, it's fine. But I just want you to know that this is the end. You will not see my foot in your house anymore. Peace out. Thank you. Goodbye. I've lost everything. How much is that friendship? How much is the worth of our friendship? How much does it put in my bank account? I'll get out. Please. 
Nancy, I am so sure I am certain that you regret this. Thank you, Jackson. Hard work. Coming here to talk to me about how to treat my husband. You are mad. And you. Have you seen what you cost? Oh. Have you seen it? Every roof you have not talked to me anyhow because they see me as a bad wife. You are making me look like a bad wife. Hey, wait. What is this? You put that and left this thing on my couch. That was a problem. Why did you just leave her my living room anyhow? You lost your job. Did you also lose your senses? Listen, for what you have done, you will not only remove this thing, you sweep this sitting room, mop it, and make it look clean. Where are you coming from? I said, where are you coming from? You left the house yesterday. I called you all through. You did not take my call. Now you walked in here and you want to go in. Now see, where are you coming from? How dare you question me? Do you expect me to give you an answer to that? Hey, but, what is your business? It's, wait a minute. Is that question for me? Well, let me ask. Who am I again? But is that question for your husband or who? For your ancestors. Nancy, you left the house without telling me where you're going to. You came back dressed like a semi harlot. Are you asking me if I have the guts to ask you such question, Nancy? Wait, 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 Richard. Listen, you can call me whatever you want, but don't you dare, don't you dare in your life call me a harlot. I will not take that rubbish. No, tell me, what do you look like? Like an office executive. I look like very sexy Nancy that you cannot maintain. Oh, you see what? It's unfortunate that you've so reduced yourself to this level. No, tell me, is this how shameless you can get? How dare you speak to me like that? Like, where did you get this boldness from? Are you talking to me? No, no, are you talking to me? No, I should continue in my petty lifestyle. Honey, wash the dishes. Do my laundry, iron my clothes, make my breakfast. For how long will that continue? Like I said, this will be the first time you do that again. If you do it, it's better we spell it out. Either you go, I will end it. Oh, really? Fine. <laughs> Are you looking out on me? How dare you? How dare you touch me? You touch me with that, so those filthy, lazy hands of yours. You've already spelled out what you want. And so shall it be. I'll give you exactly what you want. Rubbish. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I'll give him the phone. Let me look for him. Uh, oh. He's here. Hold on, sir. Speak to the owner of the house. Sir, I don't understand. But you ask us to stay for a while until we need to get a place. Is there a problem? But you said you give us a little time to prepare before moving out. You mean I should leave, then my wife should stay back? But, sir, how does that sound? Like, the husband should leave, the wife should stay back. Hey, 
Yes, sir. Hello. All right. Thank you so much, sir. I'll call you back later. Did you tell him anything? I didn't tell him anything. Do you hear what he said? What did he say? That I should leave his house. And that my wife should stay back. Oh wow, he said that? Ah, oh, that's so generous of him. Oh. Are you trying to tell me that you're comfortable with the idea of me staying back while your husband leaves? Which husband? Where is your husband? Have you forgotten you just said outside now that we should go our separate ways? This is a perfect opportunity. So you go up there, pack your things and get out. Okay? Don't worry. I'll do the necessary thing there. you hear from my lawyer. So with my sweet sugar boy, where are you, baby? Come, 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 come. <sighs> Peace, no. Hello. Oh, yes, darling. My baby. My sweet cutie. Guess what? It is done. So please come over immediately. I can't wait to have you here. All right. <laughs> Oh, your angel is waiting. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. What? Why did Nancy do such a thing? I don't know. You see, when I got married to Nancy, I thought I found love. I was hoping for peace of mind. But here I am. Here I am. You know how I lost my job and the effort you put in towards getting a job for me? Mm. Out of frustration, my dear wife compelled me to sell my house, which I did, including the cars and the house. She now came up with a business plan. I invested almost all the money in the business plan, thinking it was going to yield. I don't know how it all went. I don't know if I told you that the landlord gave us some time to stay in the house till we were able to get a better place. Got a call this morning asking me to leave the house. The funny part of it is that he asked my wife to stay. I mean, which man in his right senses would ask the husband to leave and ask the wife to remain in the house? She stayed. She saw me leaving the house. She stayed. Like the wife I married stayed. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to tell you, but I don't know how to go about it. Um, 
Nancy is the owner of the house. I mean, how is that possible? I mean, you you might know how much she earns, like how much is she being paid. How can she be able to afford such a house? It's not possible. Nancy bought the house. Sandra, come off it. What are you saying? Like, how does that sound? She's a follow me and I for crying out loud. How will she be able to purchase such a house? How? Okay. Have you ever thought of how the guys got to know your token? What point are you trying to make? How is that possible? Did you, did you give anybody your token? No, well, I did not. Hey! Apart from the fact that I have it and I know you have it, I did not give anybody. I did not. Wait. But you have a secret pin. Did you disclose it to anybody? No! Like, no, I can remember. No, I don't. No, no, this is beginning to make sense. No. Are you trying to say that my wife connived with the people that scammed me? Exactly. <laughs> That's not all. You see, they scammed you of your money, and that was what she used to acquire your house. Okay. I just have to be strong. It's not the end of the world. At least you're alive. My mother won't be. <laughs> the day I took her to my mom, she said I should never get married to her for a reason I don't know. But I was swept by love, and here I am. Okay. Sandra, I am going to be with mercy, with the life of blood in my blood, and going to be with her for what she has done to me. I do, I do with mercy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at me. <laughs> I promise I'm gonna do it. 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 i to arrest you. You might end up calling the police and the next thing you're the one that will be arrested. So just calm down. I mean, what have I gotten myself into? Is it a crime to ever get married? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is just when you have to be strong for yourself. And um, take the broken parts, the pieces, and then um, move on. You just have to be a man. You know what? It's gonna take a journey to nowhere. Huh? I will take a long distance journey to nowhere. I just have to end it. No. Maybe that's the best way to start afresh. I will not allow you to do that to yourself. You can't be depressed for nothing. See what you're gonna do. You will come with me to my house, huh? and from there we will think of what next. How to start up your life again. Okay, don't hurt yourself. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go to my house. Okay? It's okay. All will be well. You mean I should go to your house? Let's go to my house. Don't worry. You'll be fine. It's okay. So we have the house to ourselves. Can you? What? <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong? Stop! Are you not going to stay in my room? Why not? Of course, I'm staying in the same room. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, baby. Hmm. Hello. Hey, can I have a phone call? You see? Then this man to be like this, I'll send back. I'm so sorry. Oh, I have love. Upstairs. Up you go. 
Bu. Upstairs. Aha. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> David, what's wrong with you now? What's the problem? I've been calling you since morning. You're not picking my call. Pick your call for what exactly? Like, do you have anything meaningful to say if I pick your call? I don't understand. Why would you pick my calls? Huh? Are we quarreling? Do you have any problem? I'm tired. I'm tired of you. So there's no point picking your call because anytime you call me, it's either bring this or bring that you want to collect this you need this you need that you don't even care how i'm doing nothing it's all about you 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 are so selfish i don't understand like when when did we start talking about this now why won't you talk about it you're supposed to be getting the stuffs and i keep you happy wait hey <laughs> hey god listen if that is the case I don't want a liability in my life because that is what you have become. Mm. A huge liability. And I'm tired. Uh -uh. I'm a liability. Yes, you are. So you mean the, the, the pleasures and, and the happiness I, I bring to you? What is that? What? If I'm a liability. Oh, so, so this is all about pleasure and happiness. So why did you make me leave my husband? Why did you tell me that if I leave my husband, we'll get married? Let me see. Eh? I don't miss business with pleasure, okay? I do. So this is business to you. You are not even in love with me. Hey, Nancy, Come you on. have been a very big fool. This is business. You, you should know this. You knew this before getting into this. Oh, were you not aware? This is strictly business. So business. I don't know why you are complaining. Why I write all these stuff? Okay. If that is the case, I blame myself. No wahala. Business is over. Um, let me have my ATM card. What? My ATM card. Let me have it! ATM card is just to pick it as there. You didn't put enough money there. There's no ATM. money. Hey, why would I put money inside? The one I put money inside, what, what happened? Every morning, I'll be getting a lot. Evening, a lot. And until you finish everything there. I'm you want using to... the money to look good for you, man. To look good I for who? I go to the gym. I, I get some nice attires. I'm going to look good for you. For who? For you. Oh, please. I'm tired. Don't look good for me again. I'm not interested. I don't even know why I left my husband because of because of this. Uh, just tell me if you are broke. Just tell me you are broke. Say, ah. Yeah, if you are broke, tell me you are broke. Yes, you are not doing it again. Tell me you are broke. Let me know you are broke. Uh, you know are you broke? I've had enough of your nonsense. You know, do you know what? Get out of my house. Get out of my house. I said, get you. It's calm down. Who should calm down? Get out of my house. Come on, get out. Because I've been, I've been quiet. Come on. Get, you, get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. At least if you do send up for somebody. I am like, broke. I don't have money. Leave. Hello. Oh, Sandra. Hello. Hi. How is everything? Very well. Um, I'm okay. Don't worry. You look good. Thank you. You look good too. You're still looking the same. So pecky. Thank you. Okay. So, um, what can I say? Nothing. Nothing. Are you sure? Wow. I don't want anything. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just that life has happened to me. Like I've been through a lot. A whole lot you will not understand. Sandra. Hmm? I wish I had listened to you. I wish I had taken your advice. <laughs> you know? I I have this money, this power is so quiffed for everything, yet none of it could get me a man like my husband. I had a good man. I had a good man. God blessed me with a good husband, but I threw him away because of my love for material things, my love for sweet young boys. My love for flashy, pingy boys. Ah, 
Ah, God. Just imagine. Now I've lost everything. Yeah, I have money. A lot of it. But all those boys, every one, every one of them that made me leave my husband, they are dead today. They all abandoned me. They were all just there for the money. Mm. Can I do? Ah! <sighs> it's okay. I've looked everywhere for my husband. I don't know where he is. I wish I can have him back. <clears throat> um, I wish I can have him back. Um, that's not possible. You know it's not possible, right? Why would you say that? Why would you say it's not possible? My husband loved me so much. He, lo he cared so much for me. He could do anything for me. I'm sure if I see him and apologize to him. Richard will take me back. He's a good man. He has a very good heart, very soft heart. And he has a soft spot for me. Well, I still think it's impossible. Could do anything for me. I'm sure if I. Oh, yes, no. No. He promoted to head one of our branches in California. I can let him I'm so proud of you, my darling. You know what? What? Going forward, mm -hmm. we're going to change this in the house of our humble beginning goodbye. Yes. I didn't lie to you, was it? No! I also have my own vision. There's this card for the news galore. I you can say that again. Okay, so, this pretty little lady here mm -hmm. is two months done. Oh my god. What are you doing with my husband? Who is your husband? I thought, who is your husband? Who is your husband? Wait, tell me, who is your husband? Honey, I don't want to waste much time talking to unknown identities. I'm waiting inside. We have a lot to talk about. Oh, no, 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 but you even have the nerves, the effrontery, the guts to tell me, you're standing in front of me telling me that you're married to my husband. Really? Mm -hmm. So you've always had an eye on you. Hey, what do you want? The last time I checked, you told me to, that I can have him. And now I have him. Now I know who you really are. You're a devil. Green snake under the green grass. You pretend you always want to be a nice person, new wife. You had you, you were, you were on a mission. Okay. You will work for me, you will work for me, Pandora. Leave my husband alone. Who's your husband? I said, who is your husband? Baby, now don't do like this. Just you come, let's go home and sort this thing out. Leave this this witch alone. Let's go home. If, 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 if you dare call me, baby. If, if you don't leave my mother, I'll knock you off my. Let's go. 
You're not going anywhere. Leave my husband alone. Husband, I will kill you in this town. Whatever evil you are planning to do to Richard and Sandra, do not do it. They are innocent. If not, it will backfire on you. Nancy! Nancy, I want you! 